Hello and welcome today. We are at Legoland Windsor and we're about to take a look around their Heart Lake City shop. Now this is full of all different Lego sets and models with regards to the Legoland exclusive sets which we are just walking into right now. So we have the Legoland exclusive Mythica set and it does say buy now, collect later. So if you are wanting to get something that is relatively large from the shop, you can then obviously go and collect it towards the end of the day, rather than having to queue up with everybody else in the park. Now this has lots of little bits and pieces that the shop, the big shop, shall I say, does not have at the start. So for example, they have some of these shields, they do have the hats and the Lego wear up at the main store, but they also have a full selection of friend sets here, like you would expect, because we are in the Heart Lake City. They do have a good selection of the Lego City sets. They also have a good selection of the Brickheads, and they have a much easier BAM minifigure storage place compared to the one that they've got up at the big shop. So as we come round, you can see just how much space there is around the bins and all the different heads and torsos and everything to collect so if you have been in this store in the 2022 season please do let everybody know in the comments below this is my second visit of the 2022 season and the stock has changed drastically compared to the first time that we're in so there's lots of different sets and models and everything to have a look at so if you did catch the other video and there's anything that you spot that is different with regards to a completely different line that's been released or anything else like that then help everybody out and let everybody else know in the comments below this store will get extremely busy depending on the time that you come in, especially if it's just after one of the friends or shall I say the Heart Lake City shows that they put on on a scheduled timetable because obviously as soon as that happens everybody will then come into here they'll pick up for example those little city sets and then they might go off and have a bite to eat and have some lunch and things like that but they do have everything from the much smaller sets to the medium sized sets here and then obviously the much larger boxes are located at the big shop at the top of the Lego Park this little store does not have a uh, pick a brick section, but like I said, it does have a band section, so it does have your own build and minifigure. So as we go around, if there's any of these sets or any of the extra accessory packs, like you can see just there, that there is something that you would like. It's always nice to know what you guys think sells well and what is in your collection with regards to just everything with your city or your display. We're going around the Minecraft and the Super Mario stuff. They, these are two things I've never really got my teeth sunk into. But again, it's just the right size boxes that you could easily pick up with you, put in your backpack, either carry around for the rest of the day or get just before you start to leave and go home. So what you've got to remember is everybody towards the end of the day will go from all the different lands into the mini land and then from the mini land the last thing that you can do is obviously get to the big shop before you get stuck in the car park before you try and leave so are you the kind of person that would want to pick this up to start of the day would you just try and avoid it and not come in here whatsoever because you know it's going to cost you money but again you've got some nice little dots things and you can see that actually says 20 20 percent off so it's dropped into a sale for 27.99 and you've got other little um sales accessories with these dot sets as well so what what kind of person are you when it comes to trying to get sets from the lego land parks and obviously it's slightly different to the lego stores only because you do not get your vip points here but you can receive a discount if you are a merlin pass holder and obviously again compared to the lego stores the lego land stores will have more food and drink on offer and other more different types of accessories as well so what sort of layout do you prefer do you prefer it solely lego boxes or do you like it where it's got a mix of where you can get sort of more t-shirts and things like that from the lego wear section this one does have a good couple of models as well just like the lego shop does or should i say the big shop does up at the top what i do like about those lego models is that it does give you the facts and information with regards to the amount of bricks and the amount of hours that was spent this is obviously something that you never see in a lego store just the snacks there because obviously where this store is located it's right beside where they put on the main shows so you can sit down grab a bite to eat for 20 minutes as that show is going right this whole section now to the left hand side so you can see there in the bottom left hand corner 19,000 bricks 43 kilos 76 hours to make that we have this whole section to ourselves. this is your bam section so you've got your engrave your own lego souvenir for an extra 199 i will i didn't ask if that means you can engrave your key ring in there as well because I know you can do that sort of thing on the store that's called put, in, put Your Name On It in the one at Legoland Billund. But you can see, really big selection bin. 
It's easy enough to follow. You put your three minifigures in here. You've got your legs, torso, head, and accessory or slash hair piece. It is also written on the wall as well, which we'll have a look at, but they have a good selection of everything within. So you can just sit down and grab out whatever it is you want to do. Obviously, this one's a little bit more higgledy-piggledy because it has got everything with everything. It's not like it's got all the heads in one, then you move around, and you pick your torso and everything. But you can see what some have been built. So if you wanted just to take those with you and add in one of the accessories, you could do, you can just grab grab the little pouch and then just fill those pouches in. Be interesting actually how much they rotate the stock around with regards to the other sets, but you can clearly see there's your builder minifigure and you've got the artwork on the side and you've got all the different instructions of what to do, put them all in. You obviously have the till to the left hand side, so when it is really, really busy, I would imagine there'd be a member of staff just there with everybody getting everything engraved on, but now you just take it up to the till just by the door as you leave. But again, this store has a lot of these smaller accessory packs, very, very similar structure to, again, the one that they got in Dubai and the one that they got in Billund with regards to having all of these really close together with the smaller sets. They're just handy to have. So if you go into the big Lego store, for example, and they don't have a brick head that you want, they has got such a good selection hidden away here, you might be able to get this before you leave. And it is also another nice thing to know as a backup if you are staying at the Lego Land Hotel because you'll be walking from one place, you have to walk past this to get back to your hotel. So if there's something that you've forgotten or your hotel does not have, you might be able to get this as a last ditch effort. So again, if you have been here in the 2022 season, what did you get? Let everybody know in the comments below. They've got a good marble selection just here as well. And again, if you keep your eyeballs peeled, you have some Batman stuff and just a mix of Harry Potter. So it's, it's smaller snippets of the stuff. It's not a full a full line like they all have again at the big store because they don't have the bigger boxes here. But it's, very, it's more of a um, size as a normal Lego shop than it is sort of anything else. But again, I think personally, it's really well stocked. It's in a really good location. It's very clever that they put this here and obviously the external theming just looks like it's the shopping mall from the Heart Lake City Friends theme and then if you've been around this area before you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Some Legoland parks don't actually have the Friends theme at all. So if you are wondering what I'm talking about there is a Heart Lake City video available with the train and you can have a look at all of the fascias and everything of just how it looks like and you do see it on the cartoon TV program which obviously is also part of the Lego TV channel as well that you'll stay at most of the Legoland hotels and again at the Legoland holiday villages and it's that popular you can now stay in the Lego Friends theme for the hotels and everything like that because I am slowly starting to run out of time so you can like subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic if you can spot all the puzzles and everything there with all the faces and all I, like, I do like the space the space person puzzle in the bottom left hand corner that'd be quite a cool one to make up because it's got all of the different colored space space figures on there which is always nice it's got a good selection of key rings and then we can just loop around and go back out but you can see all of the different brick heads that is the space stars that's the name that i was after and they've obviously just released that spaceship again and you can sell some ice lollies and things like that and then we are back out and we can have a quick look at the face from the outside so guys Hopefully you've enjoyed that little tour. In the comments below, let us know anything that you spotted, anything that you want. Does, does your theme park, or should I say, does your Legoland have this theme within its park? Some do, some don't. So let everybody else know what it's like. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you the next one. Ta-da.